Yo, what's good with y'all boys today though, man? It's January, season four about to come out. Y'all know what we always do when a new season comes out. I show your heart to be the best possible player that you can possibly be in this game because I know that a lot of people got the game for Christmas. If I'm trying to say the Christmas noobs, but if I'm trying to say I ain't with the talking stuff, make sure to subscribe or hit that like button. And make sure that y'all boys go to the link in the description down below and go follow my Twitch as I will be streaming, live streaming every other day. I love y'all boys. Let's get into it. Now, the first step to dribbling like a comp guard in this game is you need the best possible drill moves, the best possible SIGs in this game. If y'all do not have these SIGs on that I'm about to show y'all, oh my god, look what I just shot. You will not be able to dribble like me, dribble how I dribble, or dribble like any comp guard in general. All right, man, so first things first, we got the Kyrie Irving dribble style, all right? This dribble style is the best dribble style in this entire game when it comes to 6'4 guards and under, all right? So 6'5 guards, supposedly, they pass Magic Johnson dribble style today, so I'm not gonna lie, I think that tall guard shit is ass, y'all. That shit is pop. Make you a small guard and learn from one of the best to ever do it, February himself. <clears throat> get me and uh yeah though y'all you feel what i'm trying to say you want to have this dribble style right here the dribble style if y'all don't know what the dribble style is basically it controls how every other drill move in nba 2k24 looks so just keep that in mind yeah look at the dribble styles and stuff like that and i'm telling y'all Kyrie irving is the best dribble style in this entire game so we got the signature size up when i wasted no time with the dribble moves whatsoever y'all know me i'm a steve francis user i mean if y'all don't know well yeah now you know right here i'm a steve francis user you could use De'Aaron fox but i'm not gonna lie if you have a 95 bone handle you're a small guard just like me you want to learn how to dribble you want to be good at the game stuff like that i'm telling y'all this right now i got y'all boys put this steve francis stuff on right here right now you will not regret it at all as some of y'all may know i don't really use regular breakdown combos like that because i don't really feel like it's really necessary to do in this game but this regular breakdown combo right here requires an 85 bull handle very glitchy i'm not gonna lie like you could just see like it just puts you like in a whole different other spot very very glitchy if you know how to do it in the right situations me personally i don't gotta do regular breakdown combos because that slows down my drill moves and stuff like that so i mean yeah if you want to use this you can with the aggressive breakdown combo it's technically the same thing i don't really do this like that you feel what i'm trying to say i just put it on because it looks glitchy and like he's moving forward and stuff like that like he's not standing still while you're dribbling because if y'all don't know if you stand still while you're dribbling this game for some of the people that just got the game will get plucked you will get crumbled for the escape moves for all the people that watch me for all the people that sit here and stay in tune y'all already know i already use kimba walker or trey young i don't use no other escape moves and the best escape moves in the game are kimba walker and trey young hands down for the people that did not know that now you know for the people that do know you've been new combo moves is in the breakdown combos and aggressive breakdown combos category you are not going to do this move like that whatsoever unless you're actually sitting there trying to trigger it it is not that effective i'm gonna be real not not effective at all but i do use stephen curry crossover kobe bryant jamal murray behind the back demar derozan spin pro hesitation and stephen curry or john wall step back motion style we're going to be using is either kyrie irving damian lillard darius garland deira fox or stephen curry so now that i just gave y'all literally the best drill moves in the game they don't change y'all you know what i'm trying to say they don't change the people that already watch me stay in tune y'all already know that y'all probably gonna see the same drill moves over and over again unfortunately but for the new people that can't even watch this video right now yes those are my drill moves yes those are the best drill moves in the game so now that i got the best drill moves in the game now it's time to teach you how to use it all right man so first things first as y'all can see i got the two controllers the xbox and the playstation controller i could not get the ps5 or the xbox series x but we gonna make it work with these two right here so basically let me just show y'all what comp guard dribbling is real quick it's basically doing the same series of moves but i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be real with y'all it's basically doing the same series of moves but you're doing it so fast to the point where your defender not even gonna know like which way you're going or like you're basically gonna, like mess with the defender's head that's basically what comp guard dribbling is is when you mess with the defender's head and you just he does does not know how to guard you because you're doing the same series of moves but you're doing it in different types of situations and different aspects so one thing that y'all have to know when it comes to dribbling like a comp guard if you want to play the stage if you want to play the comp stage stuff like that is you have to understand that the lockdown is always going to play your comeback no matter what 
It doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter if it's a trash lock, ass lock, no matter who it is, they will be playing your comeback 80 to 90% of the time. Comeback defense is basically fake defense to where the lockdown wants you to come back to him. That's what he wants you to do. You don't want to do that, okay? So basically, let me just give you an example. If you go in this way, right? The lockdown, if he's playing your comeback, he's going to be on your right side if the ball's in your left hand. Now, let's say you're going this way. The lockdown is going to be on your left hip if the ball's in the right hand, okay? So, he's basically going to be playing your hip the entire time. So, moves that you don't want to do are moves like this. Boom, because you're going to be going right into the lockdown. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know if that makes sense, though, y'all, but I'm going to explain this again. This is one thing that you have to know when it comes to trying to dribble like a calm guard and stuff like that before I give y'all any type of tutorial how to do a move or any of that because I have to tell y'all this. Basically, yeah, the lockdown going to be on my hip if the ball is on the left hand. If the ball's in the left hand, he's going to be on my right hip, okay? If the ball is in my right hand, he's going to be on my left hip. The moves that I do not want to do or that I want to avoid are moves that go back to the lockdown. That's why you'll probably hear someone say, oh, you're going back to the lockdown. Oh, you're you're doing this, you're doing that. Stop going back to him because I'll do moves like this. Boom. Or like a behind the back. Boom. And once I do that behind the back, guess what happens, y'all? He either gets a steal, he either gets a pluck, a blitz, whatever the case may be. And that's on me that's my fault because i went back to him okay now sometimes i'll dribble i'll dribble carelessly i'll dribble just to dribble and i'm not aware that he's playing my comeback this happens though y'all this happens to the best possible players in the world this happens to everybody but the one thing that's gonna make your scoring effortlessly with these your moves and stuff like that is your ability to know when he's playing a comeback and when he's not playing a comeback okay so it's certain things that you have to pay attention to. You kind of got to read the defense when you want to dribble like a comp guard, right? So enough with the chitty chat chat. I'm going to show you how to do the best move that you can possibly do to get open in this game right here, right now. Move number one, we got the left stick crab. So how to do left stick crab is if you're running up the court with R2, without R2, aka turbo, basically, if the ball is in your right hand, you want to keep running and you want to easily flick the left stick daily down to the left if the ball's in your right hand if the ball's in your left hand run up the court and you want to easily flick the left stick daily down to the right so look just like this boom 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 okay so i'm gonna do that again i'm gonna do that again real quick and we're gonna go through these real quick too y'all so boom boom Okay, so that's how you do the left stick crab. They call it the fast stop. I call it the left stick crab, all right, y'all? So very effective, very, very, it's, it's, it's a very smart move to do because if a person sits there and reaches out of the play and you suspect that he's gonna be behind you, to put him even more behind you and to actually make it, you know what I'm trying to say, make it guaranteed that he's going to be behind you, you just do this move right here. Oh, okay, you wanna reach out to play? Boom, easy 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 crab easy three all right man so for this next move right here is going to be the trey young escape or kim walker escape long crossover into the steve francis tiny crossover right so i call it the steve francis tiny crossover because it's this right here boom okay wait a minute boom 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 okay now this is the trey young uh hop over trey young long crossover or kim walker long crossover boom 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 if y'all need to literally sit there and put this video on slow motion just so y'all can see how i'm dribbling just so i can see how i'm doing the moves y'all go ahead and do that though man just understand that practice makes perfect so look you want to hold r2 if the ball is in the right hand you want to flick the right stick to the left boom okay now right when you do that right there you want to let go of r2 and flick the right stick right back to the right to the opposite uh ball hand okay so basically you're gonna be you're gonna want to do this boom boom run now i don't know if y'all actually seen what i just did just now but basically that's a double crossover and it's so effective because if you run off of it you can literally l2 cancel back the other way i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now oh my god 
Hey, you can call it left, right. You can call it whatever you want. You know what I'm trying to say? For all the all the old heads out there that's 45 plus years old. You know what I'm trying to say? At the end of the day, this is comp guard dribbling, my brother. This is how we've been dribbling since 2K15, brother, man. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, though? Yeah, I don't know if y'all just seen what I did, but I simply did this. Boom. Went back that way. Boom. Ran. Boom. Hold L2. Boom. Let go of L2. Boom, behind the back, which is okay. If y'all don't know how to do a behind the back, basically, if the ball is in the right hand, you want to hold R2, and you want to flick the right stick dally down to the left. Boom, right? Now, if the ball is in the left hand, you want to do the same thing. Flick the right stick uh, dally down to the right. Boom. So comp guard dribbling might be difficult for some of y'all out there, but the reason why it's not difficult to me is because I got experience with this though, y'all, you know what I'm trying to say? It's easy to me because I do it every single year. Now for this next move, it's going to be the Steve Francis tiny crossover, and we're just simply gonna run. You know what I'm trying to say? We're just simply gonna run. So basically, if the ball is in the right hand, if the ball's in the right hand, you simply wanna just flick the right stick to the left. Boom. Hold R2, run, okay? Hold R2, run, shoot. Sometimes you're gonna be open, sometimes you're not. And that is all gonna be up to you guys to know when you're open, knowing when to shoot, knowing when not to shoot, knowing when he's not gonna jump. And I know that it's not easy. That's what makes up an elite guard is knowing when to shoot, is the shot selection, knowing when to pass out of a shot, knowing when a shot is not there. It's a lot that goes into this comp stuff though, y'all. This is why a lot of people don't really understand like 2k league players are like comp stage players mentality when it comes to playing against these good players on this game same thing for the left hand you know what i'm trying to say if the ball's in the left hand you simply just want to flick the right stick to the right boom hold r2 run okay run if it's there shoot if it's not you know what i'm trying to say you're gonna have to do another series of moves like the behind the back that i just showed y'all stuff like that okay now there is this one move that has been getting talked about a lot and it is gonna have something to do with a cancel no not the l2 cancel the l2 cancel has already been settled and done with basically the left stick cancel okay so basically the left stick cancel is just like the l2 cancel but except that you're doing it with your stick and you're basically doing it faster so basically ball is in the right hand left hand doesn't matter the move that triggers this left stick cancel the most is going to be the trey young hop over or the trey young uh long crossover or the kimba walker escape crossover the long crossover so basically once you do it boom That's how it should look right there, y'all. This is the, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm telling y'all, it's something serious, y'all. The best way I can explain this left stick cancel is just simply, once you do the long crossover, you kind of want to move your left stick a little bit to that same side ball hand, and then you want to flick your right stick back back to the opposite ball hand and then do the same thing with your left stick again move it a little bit towards that same side ball hand so again like boom move a little bit stop 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 move a little like you know what i'm trying to say like you know like you like you feel what i'm trying to say though y'all like again you can simply just slow motor video and just see from the controller of how I'm doing it. You know what I'm trying to say? Because at the end of the day, the controller is there for a reason, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's there for a reason. So once again, do the move. Move a little bit. Stop. Like, basically, like, let go of the left stick. Let go of the left stick. Like, just, just keep letting go of it. Just keep letting go of it. You can le literally left stick cancel with any move in this game as well. You can do the same thing with the behind the back. I'm telling y'all, this comp guard dribbling stuff, how comp guards dribble, how I dribble, this stuff is so simple that once you understand it, once you get it down, you're going to be like, yo, this is what I was having trouble with. And I'm telling y'all, this is, it's not that hard. Like, it's, yeah, you got to put time into it. It's not going to be something that's going to be overnight or any of that. I'm not saying that at all, though, y'all. But I'm just saying, when it comes to these combos as well, it's all a timing thing, though, y'all. It's all about timing. It's all about timing drill moves. It's all about basically perfecting it. All right, y'all? But I'm going to show you this one more move. It's the 21 speed boost glitch. It's not exactly like the 21 speed boost glitch, but it's something similar. Basically, if the ball is in the left or right hand, doesn't matter. You just want to hezzy. 
which is hold R2 and flick the right stick to the same side ball hand. So basically like just like this. Boom. Okay. Now if the ball's in the right hand, the same side ball hand. You want to flick the right stick to the same side. Boom. Okay. Basically, once you do this, you kind of don't want to let the move play all the way out. Basically, once you flick the right stick to the same side ball hand, which is the right or to the left, depending on which hand the ball is in, you want to basically go that same way with the left stick diagonally, okay? Like, if that makes sense. So, just look at the controller real quick, though, y'all. Boom, okay? So, sometimes you're gonna, sometimes you're gonna mess up, but you should get it. You should get it every time, though. Okay, so, boom, boom. Sometimes you can, like, you know what I'm trying to say? You can even cancel out of it. No, there you go right there. You know, you want to you wanna go diagonal with the left stick, not the right stick. So again, if the ball is in the left hand, you simply want to do a hezzy. You do not want to let the move play out. And you simply want to go run that same way that you just did the move. So if the ball is in the left hand, you want to run to the left, diagonal to the left. Now, if the ball is in the right hand, you want to do the hezzy. And you want to run diagonal to the right. So it's pretty easy but i'm not gonna lie like it's easy when you know how to do it you know what i'm trying to say though y'all so like again look you know what i'm trying to say look and sometimes it's basically like doing a same side hezzy just like this you know what i'm trying to say but except i'm doing it directional i'm not doing it diagonal okay so now now i'm doing a diagonal so it's like it's 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 hard when you don't know how to do it but once you get to learn how to do it, it it's, it's gonna be the easiest thing in the world there it is 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 like it's a very effective move if you get it down oh my god it, nobody's gonna be able to guard you y'all nobody's gonna be able to guard you you're gonna be absolutely unstoppable hey man that's all i have for y'all boys today Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all liked the video. Subscribe. And more importantly, turn on all post notifications. Y'all do not miss another video like one of these. I will be dropping a combo updated tutorial if this video gets to 400 likes. All right, though, y'all. 400 likes. Or if it doesn't, I'm going to still do it. It doesn't matter. Y'all boys, make sure that y'all go down in the description below and follow my Twitch as I am live. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm a live streamer, partner, Twitch streamer on Twitch. I love y'all boys so, 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 so much. I'll see y'all next one. Woo! become a god.